It's 8.16 and it's the 1st of November 2023 and this is for the purpose of those that are suffering from mental uh, malaises of the mind. I suppose people suffering from mental disturbances that have been of blasphemy against my faith, my nuptials and my family. Um, I am treating a situation that is huge. Um, my humanitarian initiatives have been quite vast and have been also threatened and been offended by individuals that have awful dangerous damages and defamation done and that aren't supported by the faith and that aren't supported by the law so it's quite serious that individuals that have been blaspheming against my faith with the roman catholic church are still in society and still exacerbating their debts and their damages so um, this is just with regard to recovery health and wealth this is with regard to all the health and healing that has happened as a consequence of all the wrongdoings I've put um, or sought to put right um, that have been caused against my good name character and reputation there are three state departments that I've served at and that are not qualified or in the field of education or mental health um, might be careful about putting their name to other people's intellectual property or portfolio. Um, those threatening the peace or threatening uh, safety and security or uh, the as they threaten um, the authenticity of my portfolio and the origins of Health and Wealth Recovery 2019 the mental health reforms, the judicial reforms, the social reforms, all of those matters that have arisen from my um, experiences um, that ombudsmen have been made aware of. Those that are aware of um, individuals in society being as of ASBO and that are threatening uh, my nuptials, my family unit that have offended my farmlands. All of these people that have debts still owing are making children really, really, really unsafe. So those that are still in debt to my name, that have still been exacerbating their crimes for the interest of mental health, I might remind them of the fellowship and federation that I'm of crime prevention with and the huge, huge humanitarianism um, that has arisen from uh, the abduction of my child in January 2017 as a consequence of land grab and farm fraud. So those people that have offended my son's upbringing with unlawful paperwork might be very well aware not to trespass onto my farmland and they might remember as well the dangers of their debts of defamation they've associated with my farm holdings and the blasphemy and bigamy associated with uh, my nuptials the crimes I've experienced that have been done against my nuptials so I hope the authorities um, are aware of how difficult a situation has been caused by people that aren't educated or qualified in the field of uh, professionalism that's required, especially um, in manners supporting uh, progress and development such as those associated with COVID and Brexit. So um, those that are insulting my crime prevention with crime, unfortunately, are putting themselves and their safety at risk. Those that are spending wealth that they don't own and that they owe to my good name unfortunately are making themselves unsafe so those people that are making society unsafe are being made uh, or being brought to the knowledge of the authorities um, the authorities are well aware of their role and their position since wrongdoings commenced against my child and I um, so those that are working against progress unfortunately aren't working with a safe initiative so I would I suppose advise everyone to be on the right side of the law again as people have already deviated and decided to digress and offend. So that costs money, that costs people's lives and uh, there's been enough damage caused by people offending the commandments. So those that are offending the commandments might be careful um, about the church that has uh, been treated so disrespectfully in the southwest of Ireland and the initiatives I've been incorporating my humanitarianism in with the treatment of uh, healing 
that was required for people suffering from bad faith, bad religion practices uh, prior to the abduction of my child. And those working with unlawful care orders uh, claiming to have remit with my son might learn a little bit about royal protocol and they might come clean with their lies and false reporting before they venture further down this road with unlawful paper not supported by law or royal protocol of my royal titles. So those putting risks in the way of COVID and Brexit, unfortunately, their liability to everybody's safety yet again and those spending wealth that belongs to my name um, unfortunately I can't say that's safe money to be circulating so I hope the European Parliament and the European Council are aware of the